Welcome back to Keys Schools and to Keys. Now in this short video I'm going to talk very briefly about a couple of questions that we get asked a lot about on, on visits and presentations and outreach events that we do. And that's about whether I should do three or four A-levels uh, and then whether I should do an extended pro project qualification, an EPQ, if I have the chance. So I'll take the first one first and the second one second, that seems to make sense. So. Uh, three or four A-levels, there's no right answer to this question, um, there's, no, there's no simple answer, if there is a simple answer it's, it's kind of, it doesn't matter, right, to be honest. There are a few subjects, physical natural sciences is the one that springs to mind now where doing four A-levels, doing maths, further maths, physics and chemistry, if you have the chance, can be an advantage because it gives you a nice broad range but it's absolutely not necessary to have all of those four. Otherwise, it's really down to your personal preference. Um, which, which subjects are you most interested in? If you want to do four, then that's absolutely fine. It's not necessarily an advantage. It shows that you can manage your workload, your, your time, and Cambridge is hard work, so that's good to see. Uh, if you want to do three, absolutely not a problem. There's no disadvantage. Obviously, some people can only do three. Um, the main thing is just to choose subjects that you're most interested in. Obviously, if you do do three, you've got more time to explore the curriculum outside the curriculum in the subject that you want to go on and study and that can be an advantage as well so don't i would say don't think too tactically about it choose what you're genuinely interested in and it's not really a big deal in that sense then on to epqs those extended project qualifications as i say not all schools offer them if you don't have the chance to take one that's absolutely fine it's a, it's a, essentially a way of supporting you to develop a broader or more in-depth interest in a particular subject which can look really good and exactly the kind of thing that we're looking for when we assess applications to Cambridge. There's loads of ways of developing that outside of taking an EPQ right, which is why it doesn't really matter whether you have one or not. When it comes to EPQs themselves we don't make offers, academic offers based on them at Cambridge. We're not so interested in the results you get in them but if you do have them then absolutely great. If you do have one uh, we may talk about it at interview. Um, any exploration that you do outside of the subject looks fantastic, um, whether it's an EPQ or something completely different. So again, my answer is kind of don't worry too much about it. Do one if you want to and if you have the chance. If you don't, don't worry about it. That's fine. So, hope you enjoyed the video. We're about to run out of room. David, the cameraman, is about to fall down some steps. So I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to, as always, um, string things out a little bit just so we get a little bit closer and say please do subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, um, please do like it, give it a thumbs up, tell us whether you like this new mode of walking and talking or whether we should go back to sitting down uh, and talking to you there. Uh, and yeah, all the best. See you soon. Brilliant. Okay. Welcome back to Keys Schools and to Keys and Keys Court here under the, the fading evening light. I mean. <laughs>